Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Endurance 100 Up and Down. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and some light hand weights if you want to intensify the workout. I'm just using one kilo, which is just over two pounds. I'm also using my exercise mat because I'm on hard floor, but if you're on carpet, you don't really need it. Make sure you have a non-slip surface. We will be doing handstand variations in this workout. So you just wanna make sure that if you're sweating, you've got a towel handy so that you're not gonna slip around and you don't want any furniture around you that you might crash into. But don't worry, I'll show you modifications if you're not ready for handstands so it's not going to be as scary as it sounds. I'm not wearing footwear, but if you want to, you can. There is going to be a balance challenge element to this workout, so you might want to wear some shoes to help you with that, or even have a chair handy for some of the exercises. Now we're going to be doing 20 rounds of 100 seconds of work with just 10 seconds to change over. So it's a very short period. If you want to continue on the last exercise into the 10 seconds, that's fine. Otherwise, if you need to take slightly longer breaks, then do so. You can even set your own interval timer and do it that way. I'm going to flow all the way through, but you do it at your challenging level. Once I press start, we'll have a couple of seconds to set up the first exercise, and then we're just gonna go, go, go. Are you ready? Pressing start, grab your hand weights. We're gonna start with a side lunge, starting now. So you're going down into a side lunge and then coming up into a knee then go back into the side lunge and then kick. So it's a tricep extension and then into like a little biceps curl. So it's down with a tricep, biceps curl, down and then reach for that leg. Down and up, down and up. So we're going to be doing a few moves to kind of warm up the body. And we're going to be layering on the intensity and the complexity. So this is the base move. And the next one is just gonna be a slightly more complex variation of this move. So with 100 seconds, we have plenty of time to get our form right. So I really want you to focus on a wide lunge, a flat back, weight is in the heel of that moving leg, keep the other leg nice and straight, so you should feel a nice dynamic stretch element here as well. Squeeze your arms, light weights, but you can create your own intensity. 27 seconds. Keep a nice long neck and a flat back at all times. So if you can't reach down to the floor with a flat back, then just reach down to your low point. We're keeping the pace fast. This is cardio sculpt. And up five seconds. Goes quickly. Two and one. Okay, the next one, we're going to come down, put the weight in the heel, raise this leg, and then come back up for that kick. Ready, come down. I'm using the heads of my dumbbells. I'm sinking low into the heel of this supporting leg. I'm lifting my other leg in a straight line, toe is pointed, and I'm trying to keep my outer thigh facing the ceiling. It's down low and up high. Now, if you are more flexible, you can even come all the way down and not use the weights, or just have them in your hand like this and come down lower. Once again, checking that you are not rounding through the back. As soon as you start rounding, it means that you're too low. And if you need to, you can use yoga blocks here, or even just have a chair turned towards you so you can use the seat of the chair, okay? So you find your level of challenge. Sink low here, bring that leg up high, kick across. Blow out on the exertion. We're keeping that side lunge, so there should still be a nice stretch in this inner thigh, and kick high. 24. Should be feeling the glute of the supporting leg starting to burn. We're staying on one side for 10 rounds, and then switching. Nine, eight, seven, six, low to high. 
That's why it's called up and down. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're coming into a squat position and we're just gonna do a circle out and a circle in. Ready, get down low. It's a circle out and a circle in. I'm just hammer curling my arms. So this is the base move again. So sink low into your heels and try to get your leg up high. Circling out, wider and narrower. The weight is always in the heel and you're hinging forward at your hips so that you've got that nice straight line from your neck all the way down to your tailbone. You are kicking your leg up high, pointing the toe so that you've got that nice stretch in the hamstrings. If I go too fast, slow it down. I like to keep up the pace to get the heart rate high. 45, down. Sink low into those squats. Keep breathing. You've got long enough here to really focus on getting each rep perfect. Squeeze your arms. Don't just throw them around. I want you to tense your biceps and even your triceps at the bottom there. 14, 13. Sink low. Up, up high and down low. Each time, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to do a similar move. We're going to go around and come into a wider squat, then kick across and come into a narrow squat. So it's around to the back like an L, kick across, come down. Around, kick across, come down. Now if you want to, reach down. Kick across, come down. Around and reach, kick, around and reach. Don't forget the kick like I did. Around and reach. Sometimes when you talk, you forget things. So do as I say, not as I do. Around and low, kick and down. Once again, weight in the heel, big long kick, and here, point the toe. Try to keep the legs straight. Even if you can't get as high as me, that's okay. Just kick with a straight leg. Down, doesn't matter so much what you're doing with the arms. I just want you to keep going and hinging at the waist, down, kick, down, around, kick, down, around, kick, down. I have to keep saying it to myself, otherwise I do it wrong. That's okay, we've got plenty of time to clean up our act if we're doing it slightly wrong. Don't worry about it. If you do two kicks or miss a kick, all of it is about keep moving, right? Two and one, nice job. Now we're gonna do some handstand variations. You can either use the weight or not. We're gonna curtsy behind. We're gonna kick out to the side and step, go with me now, and slightly lift off. Curtsy, diagonal, then turn, slightly lift off. If you don't wanna use your weights, put them down and lift off. So curtsy at an angle, kick at an angle, then turn. It's handy having that mat so that you can see where you're turning to and you're keeping your line straight. If you don't want to lift off, then come here, leg raise. Okay, back into the curtsy, kick, step, leg raise. If you want to go a little bit harder, come down and bend the back leg. That's your option. Bend the back leg. And for the most advanced, it's up and ankles touch. Sink low, kick high, ankles together. It's low, too high, and ankles. 
Keep your arms straight and try not to overarch your back here. Keep going, 28 seconds. Up. It's down, it's kick and up. See, they're not that scary, are they? You don't have to lift off as high as me. You gauge it, 12 seconds. Down, kick high and up. If you wanna to touch down each time, three, two, one, you can do that too. Okay, we're coming down into a down dog position we're gonna lift the back leg, bring the knee under, and then do a glute raise. So down dog, lift the back leg, bring the knee under, come up, across the other leg, up, knee under. It's up, across, up, knee under. Nice and controlled. Up and knee. So squeeze your glute at the top each time and bring that knee across and blow out all the air, thinking about squeezing your abs. It's up, down, up, and knee in. Come on. This is a stretch and a strengthen. Down, up, knee across. 50 seconds, using your shoulders, using your abs, and your lower body. Up, down, up, knee in. Up, down, up. Your arms are straight the entire time. And you're coming from a down dog into a perfect plank where your shoulders are aligned above your wrists. 24. Down, up, tummies in, backs are flat. Up, down, up. Try to keep the supporting leg nice and straight. You want to be feeling a stretch in your supporting hamstring as well. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this next one, you don't need your hand weights. We're gonna sit on our butts. We're gonna extend our leg to the side. Then we're gonna have this leg bend, come over, hands stand up, so come down. Go now, extend long, cross your leg over. You can just do a glute raise or you can lift off. It's a cross, it's over, it's up. So if you want to, you can do that handstand. Otherwise, just do the glute raise. And once again, you can choose your option. Do you wanna bring your leg in half? So we're actually on the other leg this time. Do you wanna click your ankles together? Extend long to the back. That's your inner thigh work. Then come forward, turn, so that when you lift off, you are directly above those hands. And make sure you've got your tummy pulled in. And as you lift off, look back at your feet. Don't look at your hands, because then your neck will be in a, um, out of alignment with your spine. So look back at your feet and down. 30 seconds. Blow out as you go up. Extend long to the side. It's a stretch and strengthen. Side. And up, down, 15. All the way up. Handstands are an amazing way to strengthen your upper body. Six, five, one more, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Come back up, grab your hand weights. We're going to do a kick to the back. So come down. We're gonna have our hands in. We're gonna kick, circle, up, down. Kick back, circle, up, down. It's a kick, circle around, come up. So you're stretching your hamstrings at the same time as strengthening. Circle around, up, down. I'm putting my weights down each time to make sure I'm getting low. Circle, up. Kick back as if you're shutting a door behind you. It's kick, 
circle. We're opening our hips with all those circles. So try and get it high. 59 seconds. Doesn't really matter so much if you're pointing or flexing here. And doesn't matter so much what you're doing with your hands. You're just kind of using them in opposition to help you balance. And this is one of the ones where you might want to hold on with one hand. 38. It's okay if you lose your balance. I do it all the time. I know that I'm getting stronger and using more muscles in my body. Back. I've always got my elbows touching my thighs, so I know I'm going low. 19, 18. Come on. Down, up. Kick around, kick around, stretch and down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next one. We don't need the weights. We're going to be in a side plank position. So I want you to go like this with your hands and I want you to bring this leg forward. We're gonna open up, come down, leg out and in, up and down. It's up, you can look at your hand, out and in, up and down. Stretch and down, leg out and in, up and down. Stretch up and down, out and in, up and down. So your body is angled here. So your leg is on an angle, up and down. Your outer thigh, is facing the ceiling, out and in, up and down. If you prefer your hand that way, with your fingertips facing away, you can do that. Up and down, try to stay low. Down, knee out and in, up and down. Stretch, you can look up at the ceiling, out and in, up and down, 40 seconds. Up, out and in, up and down. Come on. This is strengthening your entire body. Up. Out and in. Long legs. Long arms. Breathe. I know it's a tough one. Up. Down. Lengthen in. So as the knee comes in, think ab crunch. Out. Blow the air out. Then all the way up. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Abs. Okay, come to your side. And we're going to come into this nice elbow position. Arm in opposition. We're going to come up. Then we're going to push off, hand by the head, and in. It's up, go, and in. And up, and in. You can bend the bottom leg if it helps you to get up and down better. Up, and in up and in. I want you to push off that elbow and then come straight back down and keep it in alignment. So your elbow is underneath that shoulder as you come back down. I want it fast. This is the last exercise on this side. Up and in. Up and in. So this is obliques. And because you're turning your body towards the knee there, you're going to be getting front of abs too. So turn your body. As you come up, turn your chest towards your knee. 43. Up and in. Up and in. Keep it fast. We're off the mat again after this. Doing the whole thing on the other side. And in. Now you know the exercises. So you'll be able to do them even better. Up and in. 20. Breathe through it. Just because it's abs doesn't mean we want our heart rate to drop. We want to keep fighting for it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, get up, grab your weights, and we're starting with the side lunges on the other side. So go down, knee up, down, kick across. It's down, knee in, 
down, kick across. So as you come down, do a triceps extension with the other arm and reach down as low as you can with this hand. Across, down, knee up, down and kick. Down, knee up, down and kick. Nice wide lunge and remember to keep this leg straight. Up and kick. In and kick. If you bring your knee up high, you should also feel the abs. It's in and across. You're kicking across the body, 54 seconds. Keep breathing and up, down, in. Remember weight is in the heel, so you should be able to wiggle your toes here. 40 seconds. Keep breathing. Legs are long as you kick. It's an extension with a pointed toe. 30 seconds. Up. Across. 20 seconds. Sink low into that leg. You want to feel your glute here. In. 10 seconds. Up. In. And across. Three two and one. Now we're going to do that one where we've got the heads of our dumbbells down. We're going to lift our leg then kick across. Okay you can do it this way or this way. Lift the leg, stay low, kick across and reach. It's lift, kick across and reach. Slow and controlled. I want you to hold your tummy in really strong and keep your alignment here. Leg is directly out to the side, lifting with the outer thigh facing the ceiling. Then you're kicking diagonally across with that pointed toe. It's up and across. Keep the weight in the heel of your supporting leg as you raise that other leg up across. And remember, if you can't go this low, use some yoga blocks, maybe a step bench, a weights bench to put your hands on, even a fit ball. Be creative with your workouts. Always challenge yourself, but never overdo it to the point where you are so fatigued that you can't work out for days. You need to find that balance. 29, up and across. This leg is always straight, okay? So this side stays straight. We're not bending. 16, 15, back is flat, 14. Flow out on the exertion. So here and here. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're doing those circle squats. So we're coming down around and back in. Three, two, one, flat back. It's a round and down, a round and in. I'm just gonna hammer curl my arms and I'm really gonna focus on sitting back as if I'm sitting into a chair. I'm going wide and narrow. Flat back, hinging at the hips. Squeeze your dumbbells, giving you nice biceps. Weight is still in the heel. And as that leg comes up, try to keep it straight. Point the toe. Keep going. Get low each time. Squeeze the back of the arm as you extend it back. 57. Just breathe. There's plenty of time to just zone out here. So as long as your form is correct, then shut off your mind and just keep going, like in automation, 37. High repetitions, fully fatiguing your muscles, causing them to shape and change. 24. We're using body weight and very tiny weights. 
So you need high reps in order to change your body. 10 seconds, sink low. Don't start slacking off towards the end. It's the last reps that count, three, two, and one. So now, similar move. We're going to circle squat, so we're in an L shape. Kick and narrow squat. Come down here, circle to the back. You can touch down, kick across and come back down. Circle straight leg, kick and narrow. Circle to the back, kick and narrow. Now if this is just not working for you, do the previous exercise. Down, kick to the front and narrow. It's a wobbly one. Kick and sink. It really helps to sink low into those squats. It resets your center and helps you to balance. Around wide. Kick and down. So big wide in order to open up through those hips and stretch the back of the leg. Kick and down. 51. Reach down if you can. Otherwise, just reach to your low point. It's a round. 40 seconds. Low. Remember, slow it down if you need to. And take breaks if you need to. But I hope you don't need to. I'd rather you just slow it right down. Just keep doing it with me. Sweat is flying. I hope you're sweating too. 20 seconds. And down. Around. 13. We've got those mini handstands next. So take advantage of these last few squats. Three, two, one. So you can use your weights or not. We're going to curtsy behind. So a curtsy is a step behind on an angle. Come up and then into the handstand. Three, two, one. So curtsy, kick up, step and lift off. Come back. Curtsy, kick, and up. So curtsy, kick, bend your leg, lift off. Curtsy, kick, bend that leg, lift off. If you don't want to lift off, then just leg up. Okay, that's your option. Kick, down, raise the glute. If you want more, kick, bend the back leg up. It's curtsy, kick, or ankles together. Choose your level. You can alternate between them if you want. Kick, whatever feels good. Make sure you look back at your feet, not at your hands when you're lifting off. Kick as high as you want. The higher, the better. Curtsy. Do what you like with your arms. I'm liking this overhead here to give me some extra heart rate. Whenever you lift your hands above your heart, that elevates your heart rate. So we like that, don't we? 25. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> Kick and up. Back, up and up. 13. Just keep doing something until the end. Don't Stop. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So we're doing down dogs next. You don't need your hand weights. Down dog, knee across the body, glute raise. Ready? Get in down dog. It's up, it's across. It's up, across, up. It's to the front. It's up, across, up. It's to the front. Up, across, up. If this is not achievable for you, just do these raises. Up, across, up. Or go down on your knee and do this. Up, across, up. Just try to modify in such a way that you're still doing the basic exercise, but you are challenging yourself at your level, okay? Just don't stop. Whatever it takes, modify, take breaks, but just don't 
stop, 48. I want you to lift your leg high. I want you to think stretching through your arms, through both legs, 35, up. Let the sweat drip off your nose in this down dog position. That's fat melting off your body. Come on, 23. Down, up. So we're crossing our leg across the body, across the other leg. So we're hitting slightly different angles. Try to keep both legs straight as you come up here. Straight, down, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh my goodness, the sweat. All right, so remember that one out to the side. So remember which leg you were on. We're on the other side. So we're out to the side. We're coming across. We're lifting up. Then we're rolling to the back, coming across, raising up, rolling wide, across and up. And remember, if you prefer not to lift off, just glute raise, okay? Nice and calm, glute raise. If you want more, lift off and bend your leg. All the way, or ankles. That's the hardest one. Take your time here to align everything before you lift off. I don't want you to get this wrong and then hurt yourself. So shoulders over wrists, then lift off. Back to front. Tummies in and up. Point your toe, make it look pretty at the back there and up. 27 and up. Are you feeling your arms? Up. Great shoulder workout here. And up. We're back up, grabbing our hand weights after this. Doing those squats with back kicks and those hamstring stretches. Three, two, and one. Okay, grab your weights. We're doing a squat with a back kick, down, up. Okay, so down, kick back, circle, down, up, down. Kick back, circle, down, up, down. Kick back, circle, down, up, down. You're kicking as if you're closing a door. It's on a 45 degree angle. Kick back, keep the leg up and circle, down, hamstring, down. Kick back. So if you can't do this, hold on to something. Down. I'm tapping my weights down each time because I want to make sure that I'm stretching all the way up. And I'm really circling high on this one. 55. Around. Up. Down. Doesn't matter what your arms are doing here. It's all about getting those legs high and low. Up, down, 37. Circle it. If you wanna just do a little kick instead of the circle, you can do that. That might help you with your balance. Down, up, down, 24. Big, 20. Stay low. I'm tapping my elbows to my inside knee every time 10 seconds. The next two are down on the mat. So this is your last big calorie burn. Three, two, and one. Okay, so no weights for the next two. We're coming into the side plank position with the arm stretch, knee pull, leg raise, okay? Other leg is in forward and we're going up, then it's out, in, and up. So the first few, are gonna be kind of wobbly and getting your positioning. It's up, down, extend and in, then raise it. So arms are nice and long, 
legs, knee comes right in, then raise up with your outer thigh towards the ceiling. In and raise. It's up, it's out and in, and it's raise. The majority of your weight is on that supporting arm and the bent leg, okay? So all the way in and raise. Up and down, out and So you can blow the air out and really bring that knee in and crunch your abs here. 44, up, down, out, in, and raise as high as you can, up, down, out, in, and raise, 32. If you need to take a break, take a really quick one and then come back to it. Up, down, extend and in, raise, point your toes, make it look graceful, out and in, raise, up, down, hold your tummy in, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, we're on our side, align your elbow and your shoulder, bend the bottom leg, arm in opposition, it's up, it's raise and in, it's up, it's raise and in. So I'm pushing off my arm, up, hand by the ear and in. So I'm twisting my upper body towards my knee, chest towards the knee, up and in, up and in. Push off your hand, make sure your alignment with your shoulder and your elbow is perfect every time you come down. Blow out on the ins and in. Hold your belly button into your spine. This is all about the obliques and the upper abs. Up and a bit of lower for good measure. And in. 45. This is your last exercise. You can do it. Blow out and in. Up and in. Keep going to the end. Even if you just have to do these ones and don't come up for these ones, just keep doing something all the way to the end. There's only 25 seconds, 23, 22. Keep going. See it through to the end. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Six, five. Four, three, two, and one, done. Great job. Okay, come into child's pose and we're going to stretch it out. Hands are towards the edge of your mat. Push your armpits down to that mat. Now walk your hands to the front and then just pull away. And then your hands to the back and pull towards the front, opening up your shoulder blades. And then just lie down on your belly and we're going to grab the foot and pull your heel into your glute and then try to push your foot into your hand and lift your thigh up. So we're stretching front of thigh. Really pull that in close. And then just let that one go and do the other side. So if you don't want to lift your thigh, you don't have to. You can just keep it on the mat. But if you want to create more of a stretch, lift it slightly. Nice job. Then just come up and bring your knee under. And I want you to keep your belly button in line with that knee and just lean forward, stretching your glute on that bent leg. If you want to bring your foot out more, you can do that and that's going to increase the stretch. I've got really tight glutes at the moment, so this is already stretching a lot. Then sit up, cross your leg over. 
Nice tall spine and just twist all the way to the back, hugging that knee in. And let's do that to the other side. Pull that knee in, twist to the back, tall spine. And then we're going to stretch out this glute, so other knee in front, the back leg is just stretched out and just lean over that knee. Stretching out this outer thigh, hip, glute area. Pigeon stretch is one of the best ones for that. You can do it sitting in front of the TV. And then just legs in front and I want your chest towards your thighs. Point and flex here, stretching your hamstrings. Just go as low as you're comfortable. It's not about getting low, it's about keeping your back flat and then just feeling that stretch in the back of your legs. And then just come to the center, feet together, just into a butterfly and you can just push down, opening up through the hips and through your inner thighs. And then just sit cross-legged and we're gonna reach across and across and diagonal, diagonal and then interlace, open up through the shoulder blades and up and then interlace behind and just pull up, releasing through the shoulders. Lots of shoulder work with those handstands. And don't worry, they do get easier and easier. Every time you do this workout, you're gonna find that you're mastering them more and more. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Endurance 100 Up and Down. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.